So I've been doing some testing on Capto and uh, been given a new product as well uh, to, to be using from the States. Uh, it's called the putting board, um, as you can see behind me. Um, some really good things uh, on this board. Uh, the center line, for, for example, um, it's good to know that there's a vertical reference point for your putter, not necessarily too much lean or too much back bend. Um, the lines that go away from that, very cleverly, they uh, they work they work on an arc as well. So they do this, they angle as they go backwards and forwards. Now that makes sense to me because you pivot from the centre of your body and in rotation, your your shaft is never staying vertical. There's never any forward lean or never any back bend. So doing some of the stuff with my cap toe and the putting ball, there's a few things that I thought I would uh, I would show you. I've got my cap toe set up here in vision of the screen, so hopefully you get to see some of the data. I'll push it a bit closer in a second. Uh, but I want to show you what it looks like to be on that board, swinging the putter at equal distance and trying to, trying to look at some of the values in terms of the, uh, the arc and the loft. So uh, the, the, the board also comes with the template where you put the template down and again, the, the lines on the template also correspond to the lines that are on the board. Now, let's place this down here. Uh, make a couple of strokes and uh, fire off some data. So, place the putter dead vertical on the board. I'm going to try and take it back to this uh, to this red line on the on the backstroke. So, for me, something that was really nice in that stroke there. I felt like my hands led, and I also felt like the shaft done this because the, the back part of this. Plate that, that sits on the uh, on the board, so this plastic plate. That bit was resting. That bit came off. So this time I'm going to try and keep my hands a little bit more like this through the putt, and that should stay stable on the board. So let's go for that. Try and. I don't know if you see that one there, but again, I overrun on that one. I ended up going past. So interestingly here, we can see that the arc of the putt here went down. Uh, so we're 2.2 degrees down on the putt there. So I must've been striking down, closed the face by a little bit and I de-lofted the shaft. So I knew I knew I did that. That's something that really felt uh, felt obvious to me on the board because I was, I was trying to do this to get the putter moving. Now I've just got to spend some time on this board making sure that this stays flat to the ball as it's traveling backwards and forwards and also that I'm making it travel equal distance. Um, one thing that I've got to say is this board here is at a 71 degree lie angle so the actual the actual ball sits at exactly the same angle as the putter. The reason that's really important as well is because you want your putter to set up at the angle that it's designed your forearms, and again, it's something I've spoken about before, forearms line up at exactly the same angle as the shaft. And in doing that, when you make a rotation um, at that 71 degree angle, um, it, it, you're generally, you should be working an arc. So many people say to me often that, does a putt go straight back, straight forward? It doesn't, it always travels in an arc.